Krista here doing another book review for you and this time it's a YA not quite a classic and hopefully you can see this I will put a better picture on the thumbnail Divergent by Veronica Roth This one is very much a book for its readers. I'm not a YA person, I'm not a young adult, and I think it's very definitely aimed at that market. It's, as it says, one choice can transform you. Very much a dystopian, it's appealing to the Hunger Games audience, you can see that. I'm not sure if you can see the flames, but obviously that was a very much a Hunger Games type icon, the flames. It's all about identity, choosing your clan or your crowd or your chosen community that you choose to live in, change of identity, what is your identity, is it defined by how you were brought up or the people you choose to be with, so there's some fairly deep concepts to it but hmm, not totally convinced, as I say it doesn't matter because I'm not the chosen audience for this writer, it's book one of a series, I'll probably not go on to read the rest to be honest, and it may be that the developments I thought could happen in this book happen in the next one, like Hunger Games. It definitely keeps you through the series. But it just seemed a little bit flat. There were a few sort of very, considering it's supposed to be post-dystopian, she changes her identity, she gets to be strong, woman, all the rest of it. There were still a few sort of stereotypes in there which I was disappointed to see because I would have hoped that by now young adult dystopian novels haven't got especially sexual stereotypes in there but this very definitely had it was a little bit simplistic and it's well written I, I completed it quickly and I'm sure that it's got real sort of devoted fans to the series because it's that type of book that if you like one of the characters but I didn't like the main character in Hunger Games and I'm not alone in that I don't think this one didn't come across so strongly but there was nothing energetic about the book and, and I was just a little bit disappointed by that. I don't know why, maybe I expected it to be a little bit deeper because of all the hype around it because it had got a lot of good reviews. It has, now I've looked actually, it's sort of a fairly balanced view from one to five stars. It's about preconceptions so in that way it's definitely one of the writer's tips I would you know explain from this book is very much as I say it's divergent Veronica Roth she's appealed with the cover which is one good thing that if you're going to write a particular novel make sure that you're complying with the genres tropes on the cover and get the right cover that appeals to your audience but it's very definitely for a chosen audience and you need to know your audience don't write a book where it's appealing to one particular type of person but then you're with the cover and with the title and with the marketing, you you target someone else. If you're aiming it at young adults, which I'm fairly sure this is, and you're aiming at readers of The Hunger Games, make it look like Hunger Games. It's not stealing, it's just giving people what they expect. It's like if you buy something in a packet, if you buy a box of chocolates and it's got a picture of the chocolates on the cover when you open the lid, if it's a packet of biscuits, you're like, hang on, I wanted a box of chocolates and you've given me a packet of biscuits. That's not the same thing. It's exactly the same with a book and its cover. Tell them on the cover what they're going to get and give them that content within the book. It shows that you don't have to go that deep in some books. It can be a surface view. Other people may think it's extremely deep in the concepts. And like I say, it is about com community and belonging and preconceived ideas as to what different communities will react like and how they've become what they are. So in that way, if you're going to read it that way, you could read deep concepts into it. I'd like to know your views on it and did you see it differently to me? All right. Thanks for joining me. Catch you again soon. Bye.